So we're behind the scenes of the fashion show, and I really thought it was important to talk to Perry Jujulis. He is the executive director for the Damien Center. And um, Perry, talk to me about like why this was such an important fundraiser. Sure. This was a fundraiser that was planned actually over a year ago to help us with our continuing operations at the Damien Center with helping people living with HIV and AIDS. But since then, we had the tragic fire on August 29th, which claimed our building and all its contents. So it really took on different meaning um, about not just wanting us to continue and restore our services, but also show the community and the people that we serve that we are going to be stronger than the fire, that we're going to get our center back. And with all the people and the sponsors and all the um, incredible love we have, coming together on a Friday night to support the Damien Center. I think it has very, very special meaning for us. I know it does for me as a person with meth AIDS. Um, right, you know, actually came to the center yeah. for help. Yeah, 17 years ago, I was diagnosed with uh, HIV at the time. I was extremely sick. And someone said to go to this Damien Center, and I showed up, and, um, and they really helped me to put my life back together and realize that there was going to be some life. Now we watched a lot of people die over the years, mm -hmm. and um, they really helped me though to, to deal with the disease, to realize that there could be hope, but also to realize I wasn't alone. And I think that's the thing that I took forward. I was asked to help out, join the Damien Center, and And now was, look at you, you're the executive director, such an important role for this organization. Um, what does it make you feel like when you see the people up on the runway, you know, us up at the microphone, and the people in the audience who really, truly just seem to be having such a wonderful, joyous time, even in light of the tragedy of the fire? It's really overwhelming because really what I see are the people that we serve, and I see the men, the women, the children who are struggling with HIV and AIDS every day, and to realize that everybody came together to help them, and these are wonderful people who are living with a devastating illness, they're living in poverty, and we were there to help them at this tragedy and want to continue helping them. And I think that's really what I was feeling was everybody was there to really care about a population that a lot of times people don't like or don't, right. you know, the stigma of discrimination yeah. is incredible. Understand. Or understand. Or understand. Um, we have a lot of hate mail. I mean, I actually had some people that I posted on Facebook were glad you burned down and Part, but this is why HIV today still has so much stigma attached to it that to see all these people, everyone come out to support people with AIDS, it's just really incredible, I think. So what can we do? Okay, so we've done this fundraiser. Um, this is our chance to tell some other people who maybe didn't sure. go, tell me how we can help further. Sure, right now we are really in desperate needs of funds, um, but also there are ways to, if people want to throw fundraisers, um, it could be friend raisers, you know, to try and help us rebuild our center, that would be a huge help. We do have a website which is taking donations, but also I find a lot of people coming together and actually throwing like a bowling party or for their birthday in lieu of gifts they're donating to one of our programs such as PAWS. PAWS is one of our programs that helps people take care of pets. We lost all of our pet food, we lost all of our pet medical supplies, we lost, we lost everything from PAWS, we're building from scratch. And so if people want to help, that would be a wonderful fun way to do that. Um, also, keep in touch with us on Facebook, and we will also have volunteer opportunities, also in-kind donation opportunities, where we may need certain things, I'll post and say, okay, mm -hmm. we need X, Y, and Z, and that's another way that we can help. We're looking for some temporary space right now, between eight and 10,000 square feet, so I also am getting the word out there to Right, that you need a location Somebody well. has a great space with an awesome kitchen, <laughs> um, and you're sitting there and wondering what to do with it, um, you know, uh, please let us know. Well, you know what I'll do, is I'll put a link to all of your locations on, on the blog and make sure people know. Um, Perry, I just want to thank you for allowing me to be involved with it, and I look forward to it next year, and we'll make it bigger and better and even more of a celebration. Maybe we'll be celebrating thank the you. new location. I was going to say that would yeah. be, you know, that'd be cool. That'd be wonderful. That'd be so cool. Thank you. So so much. <laughs> Thank you. So this great. is wonderful. I'm going to put all the information at the bottom of the blog. So please be sure if you have the means, support this cause.